Hey there, how y'all doing? It's me, Barb, and I'm here to review. Well, let me first tell you where I'm at. I'm at Kentucky Fried Chicken. There's a handsome man there. <laughs> I'm gonna review the chicken pot pie at Kentucky Fried Chicken. And we got some napkins, and here's a little spork, you know those kind. I don't know if you in other countries get these. It's just like a fork and a spoon together. We call them sporks. But I brought, I came prepared and I brought my own fork. <laughs> okay, let's look here. Let's look at this bag for a minute. It's just the Colonel right there. Colonel Saunders or Sanders. Colonel Harlan Sanders. I never knew that was his middle name. Learn something new every day, you all. <laughs> anyway, here it is, you all. Look at that. Can you see it? Oh, I'm in the sun bun. It's a cold, but it's sunny. Let me show it to you. There you go. That looks a little bigger than it is, but it's a good size. I tell you that. And I'll tell you how much it cost. It cost $5.99. Now, five years ago or six years ago, I know they were $5, but it's $5.99 plus tax. Everything's gone up. Um, so in North Carolina, in Western North Carolina, well, in North Carolina, in the United States, it's $6.41. So if you have the chicken pot pie in your country, will you tell me how much it would be? And I'll try to figure it out, you know, USA dollars and all that business. Well, howdy do. If you don't know me, I, my name is Barb, and I like reviewing things and chit-chatting and singing and gardening and all those crazy things. And uh, just kind of, I just like talking. I think you will uh come to that conclusion after hearing this. Anyway, okay, let's take a look at this, all right? I'll let you look first. Oh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Look at that. Now that's a pretty sight. I tell you, look at how big this is. This looks bigger than I remember a friend having it before, years ago. It looks huge. I tell you what, there's one a little bit bigger than this. And, um, um, some of my friends, they get them all the time. They're like $20. Oh, now Boston market. I never had their chicken pot pie and we don't have a Boston market around here anymore. And I would have loved to have tried theirs. I kept saying I was going to, that's the thing. You keep thinking you're going to do things and all of a sudden they disappear. Anyway, this thing is a beauty. Oh no, you all, I got my coffee table. I got my table and it's in the trunk. Oh no. I was so excited to show you. I don't know how well it's going to turn out. Let's take this out. Oh, this is a pretty sight. Oh, what a wonderful thing to do when the weather's cold if you're up north and it's still snowing. Can't you? Oh, I, well, I can't say that. I haven't tried it yet. Okay, let me show it to you, though. Look at look at my face and look at how big this baby is. Can you see it? Oh, the sun bun. Oh, oh, well, this is just a pretty picture. Look at that, you all. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness, I tell you that, I swear to you, the sun was not like this a minute ago. Oh well, you'll just have to put up with me or you'll flip off. I <laughs> mean, not flip off, you know what I mean. Okay, now this might be a little too hot. I didn't think about that. Now I could have sworn, I could have sworn I had forks in here. Do I have plastic forks? Oh, here's a fork. A Girl Scout's always prepared. <laughs> This, I gotta show it to you again. It's just so beautiful. It looks so flaky. Look at that thing. Well, how much was it? Six dollars or something? Six dollars and 41 cents USA dollars. Okay, I'm gonna put my little fork in here. Oh, now it'll probably be too hot for a while. I didn't think of that. I should have probably put the air conditioner on it or something, set it outside. How's your winter going or your spring, depending on when I air this? Well, I think it's just turned spring. Oh my goodness. I don't know who, oh. Oh, you all smell so good. I think it's too hot for me to eat yet. Let me just show you. Well, let me show you the um, bite first. Let me see if I can hide it for you. Where is that little sunny bunny? Oh, come here. Look at that, chunks of chicken in there let me see if i can i'm gonna move this over see if i can show you the inside oh it just looks like a lot of chicken and they're big pieces i love that but it's like shredded a little bit let me see if i can take a bite <laughs> oh 
Oh. The top is so flaky. And the, the um, you know, the sauce or whatever you call it, the mushroomy, is nice. Oh. I'll let this cool off again. Let me just uh, uh, prick this thing. I'm going to prick the little thingy so I can cool it off. And then we can really talk while it's cooling off. Oh, this is just pretty as a picture as I spit out some of the chicken. Am I as far back as I can get? I'm trying to get away from that sun. You know, sometimes I park around and around and around, think I have it just right, and then when I get all set up, boop. Anyway, just, just hang with me, all right? <laughs> I hope. It's okay if you leave me. Yes, if ever you would leave me. It might be in springtime or winter. Anyway, um, do you guys remember KFC growing up? Now, I don't know when it came to other countries, but it's all over the world, which is amazing to me. I remember in the 60s, it was a big deal when we our family would get a big bucket of fried Kentucky fried chicken. Now, that was only the original flavored. They don't have that. I tried the grilled chicken. Oh, I love it. But they don't have it here where I live. Um, I guess I could go south and go look. but um, And I haven't had it for years, probably about five or ten years. So I'd have to try it some other time or whenever it came out. And when it first came out, I tried it. Anyway, and then do you remember back in the day, Diana Ross and the Supremes, they had a double album when you bought Kentucky Fried Chicken. I think he had to buy a bucket. Oh, I got that, those two albums. I listened to them over and over, over again. Oh, now, I can't remember the songs, but is this one? Stop. In the name of love, before you break my heart, think it over. I don't know if that's one of them, but I'm thinking it is. Okay, I'm going to try to take another bite so we can really talk about this. And then I'm going to do a barbecue, <laughs> barbecue, a BBQ, which means uh, a Barb's, um, Barb's Besties Questions. And if you have any, just if you have a question about me or whatever, just uh, put it in the comments and I'll try to answer them sooner or later. I get to things. Sometimes it takes me a little longer. You just got to hang out with me. Oh, it's all flaking and falling. Okay, I'm going to take a bite of this now. Oh, I'm so... Oh, oh, here I go. You know me. I'm going to drop something. Look, at, let me just show you this beautiful crust. Mm. Look at that, you all. Now, if that is in heaven, and you wouldn't expect that from a fast food place. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, my whole car is shaking. Can you see it wobbling? <laughs> this gal is... <laughs> oh, goodness sakes. Oh, funny, funny. Okay, let me take a bite, right? Oh, it's too hot again. It's a tease. I see a big chunk of potato and there's some carrots in here. Mm. Oh. Mm. Y'all, that crust is so flaky and nice. Now, I tell you, I'm comparing this to some nice restaurants, too. I mean, this is a nice pot pie. Uh, if you've ever got it, let me know what you think. I think this does not taste like fast food. This tastes really good. Well, I mean, some fast food tastes good, too. Don't get me wrong. Oh, there's peas in it. Oh, you all, you know what I used to do when I really didn't have money? I know those banquet frozen food pot pies they were like were the cheapest we could get at the time i think sometimes true value had them and i would get those and then i would get a pack of peas and i just or peas and carrots and i put them all in there to try to beef it up <laughs> the things you do okay let me take another bite mm. hot oh this is wonderful one to ten, if I say in fast food, it's definitely a ten. Around the board. Now, I haven't had tons of pot pies. There's a restaurant on the Blue Ridge Parkway called the Pisgah Inn. They have pot pies, and those are really rich and nice and flaky top. But those cost a bit more than six forty one. Was it six forty one? Yeah. Um, but I am trying to remember this is from Jennifer. Um, um I'm trying to remember other places have gotten a nice pot pie. Well, I told you I'd always want to try Boston Market and I never did. Oh, this really fancy schmancy place, Maggie Valley. Those are expensive. 
But this, I think this is well worth it. Nice pieces of chicken in here. Oh, you all, this is the hidden secret. I don't know, maybe you all know about this, but no one's told me. Sorry. I just got, I've been eating too many, I'm too excited to try it. So let's just talk, let's talk a little bit. I want to cool this thing off, but boy, do I want to eat it. Oh, you all. There's some light meat and some dark meat in this. Oh, and the, so the sauce or whatever you call it. <laughs> it's really nice. It's not too rich. Sometimes they're so rich, I don't enjoy it as much. I kind of bumped this along. I don't know if you can see anything in there. Can you? Oh, oh, chicken and carrots and peas and love. <laughs> oh, I don't know. So for fast food, it's definitely a one out of 10. 10, you can't stop thinking about it. You're going to come back for more. I'll come back for this again. That's definitely a 10. Definitely worth it. Um, Eugene, I know you're wondering. Um, definitely worth the price. Definitely, I would come back and get it. Um, um, in comparison to a restaurant, I would probably give it like an eight. Maybe even higher. I just haven't had enough. I think I'm kind of being hoity-toity now. Maybe it's a nine. From, a, you know, regular expensive restaurants. But then when you compare the price, it's a ten. It is a ten. Well, I think it is. I don't know what you all think. Mmm. Mm, 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 it's good. 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 I love this. My car is shaking and I don't care. <laughs> mm. Heaven in a bucket. I tell you. Heaven in a pie plate. <laughs> mm. And it's got its richness to it. Okay. I'm going to do a BBQ question from Monica. She asked, what kinds of jobs have you had? Oh, oh, Monica. I don't have enough time to talk about all the jobs I had, so I probably won't be able to talk about them. I was trying to remember them, so I wrote some down because I was like, oh, I'll never remember them all. And, I, and I'm sure there's more here. I've had a lot of jobs. Not because I didn't do well. It's because I, especially growing up, I just wanted to try new things, and I was open to almost everything. And and I just, I like to learn things. And... um. I, when I was young, well, my first job, did we, yeah, I got paid. What did we get paid for it? I don't know if we did or not. It was delivering newspapers, but it wasn't a real newspaper route. It was um, free newspapers. But then, um, that was my very first thing I did. But I don't know how, if we got paid. It was like a free newspaper. But then I was a lifeguard. That was the free, at a country club. And, uh, oh, we had to wear white two pieces. As a, as a lifeguard, you all. And it was in a lake. And the, 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 uh, the chairs are really high, which they were too high for that lake for the level of the water, I think. But um, I enjoyed it. It was a little scary because you don't want to, you know, you, you're trained to save people, but, you know, you don't want to have to. <laughs> well, I didn't want to have to. Maybe some people go, oh, I want to save somebody. I don't know. But um, but um, let me see. Um, oh, there's so many things I want to share with you. I should break down each one and then tell, share stories from each job. But anyway, I'll just kind of tell you about I was a lifeguard. I, I've sung at some weddings before. Um, just a little donations kind of thing. Um, I wa I've been a waitress several times. I was a waitress at a, um, oh, God, a 24-hour joint. It was 24 hours, and I had the night shift. Oh, and you just smell of that food. I can't remember the name of the restaurant. I'm sure I've got it written down somewhere. And then I've waitressed at, um, I waitressed at Shoney's before. I think I've mentioned that before. And I've, I was a cocktail waitress at the right track when, in Pasadena, California. I've mentioned that before. Um, um, have I waitressed other places? Oh, I did a lot of catering, a lot of catering gigs. Oh, I did so many. One time, one year I had like seven different jobs on my taxes. I had seven different jobs on there. Um, what other jobs? I'm trying to think. Well, I did theater um, in dinner theater and yeah, dinner theater kind of places. Um, and, uh, oh, when I lived in New York City, I did. It was with a marketing company, but I handed out like cheese samples. I handed out samples of cheese or candy or like Godiva chocolates. Um, I had to show how to work a pasta machine at um, downstairs of, I think it was downstairs of Macy's. It might have been Gimbel's. I'm not sure. Um, this was back in the 70s. And... Uh, I'm trying to think. Um, I'm looking, peeking at this list to see if I can find anything on here. But I wrote it so small. 
I wasn't prepared. I was no Girl Scout. Um, anyway, um, I was a field counselor. I don't know what my official title title was. I think it was a field probation officer or something like that. I can't remember, but it was for um, adjudicated youth, and I worked outdoors, and we hiked, we rock climbed, we whitewater canoed, we horseback ride, rided, <laughs> rode, we rode horseback. Um, a lot of different things we did. I love that job. I love being out of doors. We did snow camping, you know, tarp camping. I love that job. Up in the Blue Ridge Mountains, it was wonderful. Oh, I'm taking another bite. I'm getting hungry thinking about that job. <laughs> oh, you all, when you snow camp, well, of course, you got to have the right gear. I mean, please don't go camping or hiking when it's going to be cold and cotton clothes. Oh, no, no, no. A friend of mine did that. I was about, about ready to cry. Mmm. But she's a hearty person. She, she's something else. Mmm. I can't tell you how good this is. I'm not trying, I'm not sponsored. I don't promote KFC. Oh, now I used to like their original. Their crispy is not my thing. Of course, I haven't had it for years, so I suppose I should try things. I guess that's kind of what this is about. I know I'm taking big bites, but it's so good, you all. Mmm, I love it. Oh, I have no complaints. Two thumbs up. Um, okay, here comes that sun again. Here comes the sun. Do 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 do. Here comes the sun, and I say. It's all right, it's all right. I love that song. It was one of my favorite songs in my lifetime. My two top, well, there's so many favorites, but one is We Are Going. One is, um, what is it called? Every second, every minute, every hour, every day. I think I've sung that to you. Um, um, Holy Ground, but also um, Sailing. Sailing, take me away to where I'm going. Do, 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 do. Um, anyway. Is it Christopher Cross? I don't know. Anyway, um, what other jobs have I had? Landscaping. I did gardening, and I did land in private homes, but I also did in, in companies at, with other companies, and it built more estate. I was the detail gardener in Rosarian, and I also worked in the shrub garden. I worked in the wall garden, shrub garden, azalea garden. Did some work in the conservatory. Loved that job. Loved it. Um, what other jobs have I had? I did was a construction worker. <laughs> For a solar home company, Bald Mountain Homes. I don't even know if it exists. Um, what other things did I do? I know I've talked to you about different jobs I've had. I was a banquet coordinator. I used to work at Holiday Inn years ago, but then I was a banquet coordinator. Um, I, I don't like, I don't enjoy being a supervisor. I don't really, it's not my thing. I don't think I am good at it. I like being a frontline worker. And oh, and, and you know, that's fun. Um, what other things? Oh, I was an investigator. Um, for Department of Social Services for child abuse. But, you know, I, I'm, I believe in finding the good in everyone and then also trying to find out what's going on. I don't, I'm not one to shame and blame. I don't believe in that. Um, that's a hard, hard job. That is a heavy duty, heavy duty patootie, I tell you that. Um, and I, you know, some people told me not to tell people I do that. Oh, you all, look at this. Look at that. Can you see that carrot? Look at that big old carrot in this pot pie at fast food. KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Do they call it KFC or Kentucky Fried Chicken now? Oh, it's still called Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh, I'm sorry, I was calling it KFC. Yeah, Kentucky Fried Chicken. I can't believe it's all over the world. It's so strange to me. Mmm, 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 mmm. If you're from another country and you have Kentucky Fried Chicken or KFC, Will you tell me if you have the chicken pot pie? Or do you have a different kind of pot pie? This is good. I know I've said it 500 times. It goes, Barbara, the review's over. We know. <laughs> Let me see if I have anything else on this list. I was a camp counselor. And I was a nature um, nature director at a camp. I started a primitive outdoor camping overnight unit. I started a nature hut at that camp. I, I've um, been a canoe... Um, canoe instructor uh counselor we t went on canoe trips up in michigan and the other one was up in maine um oh, i'll talk about the counseling some other time and then um what other ones 
What other did I? Oh, I was a program uh, director at a camp too. Um, oh, I was, I worked at uh, department stores. I worked at Hudson's. I don't know if Hudson's is still around. It was up north. And Dillard's down here. I have to talk to you about those jobs. Um, bank recording. I'm trying to think of social work. I worked in low income housing. I've mentioned that a couple times before um, for about 10 years. That was like my last job. I loved it. Um, I'm not remembering stuff, you all, but that's what I can remember off the top of my head. I'm sorry, I'm playing with my cup. I can tell the light's getting funky. Let me take one more bite. I've dribbled water all over me. <laughs> that light's getting weird, isn't it? I'm sorry. That's what happens when somebody's not a professional. <laughs> mm. Oh. <laughs> That was a gluttonous bite. Oh, the sun's getting weird. Okay, I better shut off. I'm going to stop here. Um, if you want to know, this is the sad news. It is 840 calories for this pot pie. But if you don't, if you just have a small little breakfast, you know, an egg and toast, and have this as your main meal for the day, and then something light at dinner like a little salad, it'd be wonderful. Um, anyway, I want to say thank you. Thank you for watching. Oh, look at this light. Anyway, I'm loving them. KFC, i got to find a jingle for it. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Anyway, you all take good care of yourselves. Until the next time, who knows what I'll review. Throw me some suggestions. You take it easy. And until the next time, happy trails to you. I'll see you all later, I hope. I hope. Take care. <laughs>